Hi, Rob Quiggenden here, Windows Insider MVP. Um, just last week, Microsoft revealed the latest version of their Bing powered search engine, which is powered by OpenAI's ChatGPT language model. Um, now, this new version of Bing is currently only available to select users that are registered on the uh, request of beta trial. Um, they had a million people sign up on the waitlist in just 48 hours, and I was fortunate enough to have just been accepted on this trial. So I wanted today just to very quickly walk you through the ways in which this new search engine is just totally different from search that you've experienced before uh, through Google or, or Bing or GoDaddy type search engines. So we're going to dive in, we're going to give it a couple of search uh, requests and we're going to see how it responds in, in a chat native search world. Okay, so I'm going to kick this off with a couple of examples or questions that I might type into a search engine. And instead of asking kind of keywords, I'm going to simply ask the question in a way that I would ask a human. So uh, I've got a couple of these saved up, but the first question I am going to ask is, you know, what is a great idea for a date with my wife that's a bit untraditional? So we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day very much, but I am thinking about something we could do potentially at the weekend, uh, while the kids are with their uh, grandparents, uh, that we could do. So I'm gonna ask Bing this question and see what Bing says. Um, so the first thing you'll note when I um, click on the search is I do get the traditional search results um, on, on the left-hand side here that you can see, uh, which obviously I can navigate through it and sift through. But what you'll see on the right-hand side now is the chat services. So um, Bing is now responding to me and it's looking at my question and it is trying to respond um, with, with some ideas, right? And obviously it's, it's got that information from various websites, so it's easy to refer back to where that data has come from. And you'll notice as it, as it starts generating the data that uh, it actually gives me the links to where those documents come from. But what, you've, what you'll see here is it's actually generated this response based on multiple sources of information, based on my question and determine what it thinks is the most relevant answer and if you're familiar with uh, ChatGPT and if you've had a go at that and if you haven't where have you been um, then you, you can again have conversational chat so you can ask additional questions based on that so such as tell me something more about that what one do you think is best it's given me some suggestions in here well, I might not like any of those things and it might ask for more so in this example just to play it out because it is Valentine's Day and I really don't have any idea what I'm going to do um, I'm going to ask it to make the date a bit more romantic for me. Um, and again, the conversation now shifts to chat because I'm in a chat based conversation. So you can see it's now thinking about that answer and it's now given me some answers um, that it thinks might be right. So it's asking me to dress up. It's asking me to impress with, with, some, with some different ideas to pick a location that might be quite nice. And again, I can, I can carry on going through uh, the questions and ask it to be as, as specific um, as I want to be. So. Um, I think I think it's great. It's a really nice way of, of doing things. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to a different um, example now. So the second question we're gonna ask. So I've been challenged this year with uh, working out where we take our children on the holiday. So I'm I've got a five year old, nearly six, and a seven year old, nearly eight. So I'm gonna ask um, a question about where I should take the children on holiday. So I'm trying to find a location that's in May. We've got good sunshine for children aged six and eight. So again, um, the, the results will just bring me simply a, a, a set of results that, that, that I can look through and choose. Um, now, sometimes this doesn't flick up. You notice here it's not picked up the chat on the right hand side. So sometimes I do need to kind of initiate it. So if I click on uh, the chat button at the side now, this will now force that question into, into a chat. And you'll see here Bing is now starting to search different websites for it. And, and, and will give me some interpretation of, of the information. So it's making actually a couple of searches here because I haven't been specific about where I might want to go on holiday. Um, and here we go, it's got, I've got an answer. So it's given me some information about family holidays. It's actually been quite specific about different locations that I might choose to go to. Uh, it's picked some locations in the UK and France. Uh, and again, you'll see the, the list of references um, building up so that there's not any way that I can I can see at the moment to uh, to influence the the locations that it, that it searches on so uh, I assume at some point this will be based on paid paid advertising but it is pulling some some things for me um, and you know I, again I could just ask it here to you know could, can you can you make a recommendation for me um, so I'm going to ask if you can make a recommendation um, and we'll see what it comes back with. So 
it, it, it may or may not, um, but it's certainly looking for me. So, um, okay, so it's actually, you know, it's actually asked me for a bit more um, information. So again, I can respond. So, so what we like, we actually quite like, um, we like features. Because it's conversational, um, it will take that search and continue it. So it's using my search and it's now picking out some different um, different locations. From so again, I think this is this is again really powerful. It's just kind of the way that we ask a question rather than thinking about the, the individual search terms um, that we might use. So there we have it. Um, being powered by ChatGPT. Um, you know, I think this is quite revolutionary. I think it's it's you know in, in its context today, I think it, it, it's quite fun. It's, it's it's a different way of using a search engine. Uh, you can see here the question I just asked it about writing a good uh, a video blog. So uh, maybe you can be the uh, showcase of that. Um, one of the things it says about it is make sure it's topical. I think this is definitely a topical conversation at the moment. But I think you know if you think about how powerful this can be, uh, or this can be used internally, um, and how you can point this at your own data sources, for example, within within Microsoft 365, to be able to actually ask it really meaningful meaningful questions. Um, and it can traverse your own internal information data sources to return answers to you based on you know your customers, your um, your environment, your your solutions, your propositions, your managed services, your people, um, whatever that might be. Um, imagine asking in kind of fluid language, you know, what meetings you've got today, um, you know, how are your team performing, um, you know, all sorts of kind of questions that you would typically ask someone in, 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 in a language that are generally quite hard. If you think about from a commercial perspective of retail for example or, or stores where you have a storefront with, with a chat you know, today typically those chat engines are, are quite keyword based um you know personally i've been using the o2 one sorry o2 um it's awful you know it's really based on you have to get the quite the right keywords right it's really just kind of a a text a text-based ivr um you look at organizations that are starting to invest in this kind of technology you know they're really aware of what you're asking it and you can you can dive deeply you know you can tell it that's not what i meant i meant this or um can you tell me a bit more about that oh, actually i'm not interested in that tell me about this and it adapts um to your mindset so so there we go very quick overview of um the new bing um be great to see actually how, how bing's numbers improve right i think you know google needs some competition but i think this is revolutionary um google of course are bringing out theirs as well um battle of the ai uh, I think it's going to be, but I think this is just the cusp. I think this is going to revolutionise and change um, the way in which we interface um, and speak. And of course, all these things are voice enabled, right? So I was typing today. Um, I can ask this stuff via via um, microphone and chat. So um, let me know how you get on. Hope you like the blog. Um, and um, yeah, enjoy. Happy Valentine's Day.